Hello everybody, Shelly here. We are back. Back to kick Reaper ass. Not getting stuck on ladders this time. So we are pros. Alright, so... Hello, sirs. How are you guys holding up? James. Hey, James. Hey, Commander. What? No Lola? <laughs> yeah, sorry. You okay? I don't know what I thought I'd feel coming back to Earth. I was ready to fight. Ready to die if I had to. But seeing everything like this... Don't worry. There's a lot to do after we destroy the Reapers, but... I know it's hard to say, but this is only temporary. But first we need to win this thing. Stay focused. Don't let them take your will to fight. I know, I know. You're right. So, I guess this is it, no? One more push. One last fight. Not necessarily our last. It's been an honor serving with you, Shepard. Oh, uh, James, you know what? We had, okay, we had a crazy ride, you and me, James. We had, we had a crazy ride. I remember the beginning of all of this. I thought you were just Mr. Muscle, and I didn't give two shits about you because you weren't my favorite characters. But you have grown on me, sir, and I am going to give you the respect and give Bioware the respect of their, their writing team. Does a good job with characters and, and a good job with all that, so... Yeah. You're a good man and a terrific soldier. Damn it. Thanks. Whatever happens out there today, I know you'll make me proud. That means a lot to me, ma'am. Good luck out there, Lola. <gasps> yeah, he said it. Okay, so Shepard me sums things up way better than I do. I'll tell you that much. Good. What did they find? Reports indicate one of your parts of base is in no man's land. Enemy instinction has been a hundred percent. They said one of the big reapers swept through the area. Ugh. Did Echo Team have a recommendation? Affirmative. Advise delaying next wave of hammer. Damn. Look at murdered out there. We don't have a choice. Negative on that delay. We'll advise command of the situation, but hammer proceeds as planned. Over. Acknowledged. We gotta do it, guys. And you know we got to lady says something new and then I'm like damn it how's it looking oh hey look they got telephone booths ye old London telephone booths so it's a pretty nice touch oh god that mega lights blinding me it's a nice touch hey Caden Hey, 
There you are. Why did I bring you? You ready? Absolutely. For anything. Bring it on. No. And biotics division? Your students? <laughs> More than ready. Eager. That's youth for you. Mm -hmm. Guess we're old soldiers. Hey, Shepard? Yeah. I guess we are. Comrades in arms. I'm not that we old. We know the score. We know this is goodbye. Oh, God, don't oh. You know what? Like, I read the subtitle before he said it, but when he said it, that's when I got hit right in the feels. Because the way he said it, like, the tone in his voice, it was, like, so depressing. When this is over, I'm gonna be waiting for you. You better show up. Don't get me wrong. I'm gonna fight like hell for the chance to hold you again. But listen, I... There's... Things I want to say. Uh, the feels... And looking back, I have a few regrets, but not many. That's pretty damn amazing, right? Yeah. Messed up kid that I was. Never would have dreamed of the life I've had. And I owe a lot of that to you, you know? It's been quite a ride. It sure has. But how are you doing? Scared? Yes. Oh, God. The, the, the whole conversation, like, when Shepard responded to, to what Caden had said, it was like, you could hear it in her voice, too. She had that tremble in her voice. It's like, so sad. Oh, my God. Ah. The feels. Ah, right in my feels. Damn straight, I'm scared. But that fear is gonna keep me alive long enough to strike these bastards right through the heart. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Exactly. So... <sighs> Take care, Major. Don't say it like that. Eh, that's better. Thank you, Caden. <sighs> I can't lose you again. Well, I should find the rest of my squad. Yeah. You know, I've never been to London. <laughs> uh, Caden, I'm just gonna... Okay, oh, oh, I'm interrupting his call. I'm, so I'm sorry, Caden. I didn't realize I was interrupting his call. Hey. Yes, Commander. Is there someone you'd like to reach? Oh man, I can talk to people? Like Jacob? And Grunt? And so, so, oh my god, I can talk to all of them. We gotta reach Cortez, man. Steve Cortez. Certainly. I'll connect you now. Is he okay? Commander, you made it. Phew! Glad I can say the same about you, Cortez. I've come too far to lose my pilot now. I apologize for that. Things got too hot. Thought maybe I could do another run and head back around. Well, not one of my finer moments. If I'd been flying my old trident, things might have been different. What matters is we took out that AA gun. Absolutely. And the Reapers are next. That's the idea. It'll happen. I'm just glad I could play a part. And Commander, thanks for making me believe again. If you hadn't... It helps to have reason to live again. Stay sharp, Cortez. Yes, ma'am. I can just There's someone imagine... Else I can connect you to? Like, I can just imagine how horribly, like, even more depressing it would be to have to have, like, a heart-to-heart -heart with Caden over the calm. That would be... I'm so glad you guys have been telling me to take him because that would be so sad if I didn't. Samara. Certainly. I'll connect you now. I'm glad you made it, Samara. The honor is mine, my friend. You helped me a great deal in the monastery, Shepherd. Thank you for returning the favor. Only your actions will be remembered. May you choose them well. Farewell. Oh, man. Is there someone else I can connect you to? Kasumi. Kasumi Goto. Certainly. 
I'll connect you if now. If you can find her, that is. Hey, Shep. You ready down there? It depends on whether you've got the crucible good to go. Oh, it's ready. No idea what it'll do exactly, but it's gonna be big. Good luck, Shepard. If you live through it, drinks are on me. Well, damn. Is there someone else I can connect you to? Master Thief Kasumi offering to pay. Jacob Taylor. Certainly. I'll connect you now. Shepard, that you? Mm hmm. Jacob, holding up? <sighs> Kicking ass more like. My kill count's through the roof. Nice. We'll meet and compare notches when this is over. You got it. There's this, uh, great little bar in Rio we have to check out. I'm holding you to that. Give him hell, Jacob. Yes, sir. Shepard out. I think you mean ma'am. God damn it, Jacob. Is there someone else I can connect you to? But seriously, Jacob. It's like you and me. We've we've had our, our issues. But uh, you a good guy. Zaid Masani. Certainly. I'll connect you now. Almost thought you weren't gonna make it, Shepard. Glad I was wrong. You doing okay, Zaid? Yeah, yeah. Hope you've got one hell of a speech to get everyone moving. Yeah. Looks like we might need it. Never seen anything like this. We don't stop it now, it gets worse. No kidding. Just doesn't feel like a real ground war when your opponents are taller than goddamn skyscrapers. Yeah, <laughs> true. Still, no use talking about it. Ready to go when you are. Let's cut the bastards. Damn straight. Is there someone else I can connect you to? Yeah, Grunt. Grunt. Certainly. I'll connect I, you now. <laughs> He'd be like, which Grunt? There's tons. About time you got here, Shepard. Didn't want to win this thing all by myself. Good to see you back in action, Grunt. Wouldn't miss it. Shepard. Yeah? Thanks for getting me out of that tank. Aww. Sure, Grunt. It's been an honor. Same here, Shepard. Okay. Grunt out. Aw, that was touching. Is there someone else I can connect you to? I'm done. Yes, ma'am. I'm sadly done. Oh, God, I want to talk to them more. Postpone the inevitable. I don't want to leave. I just want to stand here by kid. Oh, I'm interrupting his call again. Whoopsie. Yeah, I didn't mean to do that. Hey, dude, what you doing over here? Should, uh, should not be holding your gun like that. Should be up by your chest. You should be doing a thing. I really want to drive one of these Makos, so if I could just get into this and drive it away, that'd be great. I would appreciate it. Clips. That I don't need, but clips. I want you to coordinate with the Alliance. Make yes. sure we iron out these logistical problems. Yes, sir. The Krogan don't want to share supplies, though. That's just Rex playing hard to get. <laughs> Tell him I've got a crate of Denorian beer I'd be happy to barter with. <laughs> and that ought to get his attention. Uh, yeah, it should. Shepard. So, I guess this is... Just like old times. <laughs> huh. Uh, hmm. Might be the last chance we get to say that. I think we're gonna lose? No, I think we're about to kick the Reapers back into whatever black hole they crawled out of. Good. Then we're going to retire somewhere warm and tropical and live off the royalties from the vids. <laughs> Sounds like a plan, Garrus. I'll meet you there. I think my days of saving the galaxy are over when this is done. Be sure to leave room for all the autographs. Aww. Just need to beat the Reapers to get there. James told me there's an old saying here on Earth. May you be in heaven half an hour before the devil knows you're dead. Not sure if Torian heaven is the same as yours, but if this thing goes sideways and we both end up there, meet me at the bar. Of course. I'm buying. 
But, uh, yeah. We're, we're, we're gonna win and nobody's gonna die. It's gonna be happily ever after, I swear. We're a team, Garrus. There's no Shepard without Vicarian. So you better remember to duck. Sorry, Turians don't know how. But I'll improvise. And Shepard, forgive the insubordination, but this old friend has an order for you. Uh-oh. Go out there and give them hell. You were born to do this. Goodbye, Garrus. And if I'm up there in that bar and you're not, I'll be looking down. I'll always have your back. You and me, Garrus, we buddies for life. Oh my god. Ah, we're like so buddies, you and I, Garrus. Primark Victus. Primark Victus. I didn't realize you were here. I wanted to return the favor in person. Damn. Though I'm sorry to see your world. Looks as bad as ours. Yeah. I'm surprised you're not back on Palavan. This war will be won or lost today, here, on Earth, not Palavan. Everything comes down to this moment, and history will record that the Turian hierarchy stood among the brave. Ugh, everything comes down to this moment. That was part of Shepard's speech in Mass Effect 2. It's like, ah. Uh. I never got the chance to talk to you about your son. Yes, he rectified an unfortunate mistake made in the past. I'm sorry I couldn't be more open with you about it. Your son honored the Victus name. He was a true hero. Thank I you. I say as I stretch. <laughs> Hearing that means a great deal. How are things back on Palavan? Erdnot Rex was true to his word. The Krogan put up a magnificent fight. Fearless to the last soldier. They bought us time to evacuate civilians. Yet even then the Reapers were still too much. The only hope from my world now is victory here on Earth. I'm glad we got this chance to speak. Good luck, Commander. Good luck, Commander. Good luck, Primark Victus. Oh dear. Where's everybody else? We've got hostiles on the perimeter. I want to talk to the R. Tally. Get on that gun. Oh me. We lost people. Some of the wounded here won't make it. The Reapers are closing in. How are you holding up, Liara? This is it, isn't it? Yeah. This is it. I don't know what to say. I just know I'll have a clever line five minutes from now. <laughs> I do have one thing for you, Shepard. A gift. It'll only take a moment, if you want it. What kind of gift? 
is what I would say if I didn't think it was rude to ask for some reason, but I'm gonna ask anyway. What kind of gift? Do you remember when I first joined my consciousness to yours? I thought that I can show you some of my own memories. Asari exchange them sometimes with their friends or the people they respect. It can also be a way to say farewell. Oh, don't do that. Yes. Give me your gift. I'd be honored. Close your eyes. to these medical supplies. What's his condition? The bleeding. Level of blood. His leg was blown off by the knee. Okay. And I'll try to stay calm. I'm just a civilian. We're out of Medidale and your surgeon got killed by a reaper. I don't know how to do this. I'll talk you through it. You're his only hope right now. The most important thing is to stop the bleeding. How? Do you have any towels or bandages? Then use your shirt. Tear off one of your sleeves and... Wait. Something's coming our way. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. It passes by. You need to tear off your sleeve into strips. You're going to make a tourniquet. All right. Hold on. Okay. I did it. Now wrap that just above his knee to cut off the blood flow. Tie it off in a knot. Try it again. Pull tighter. Okay. I'm wrapping it again. I think I got it. What's his condition? It looks like he passed out. But he's still breathing. I stay with him. If the bleeding starts again, let me know. You're going to make it. There's not gonna be another night because we're gonna- oh, medical. God damn it, why do we get so distracted? Oh, that was like intense to listen to. I imagine that's where. Yeah, he's probably over there. Hey guys! So these guys look competent. Good job, guys. Galaxy 2,000 years ago. When all seemed lost and the end was near, one word delivered the killer blow. One word beat the monsters back to the abyss. And one word brought death to an enemy none dared fight. That word was Krogan! And today, the Krogan rise again. Today, we forge a new path and join the galaxy as allies in victory! Today, we win our future! Yay! Protect to Javik first! Commander. Was it this bad in your time? Worse. I have been listening to the Krogan speak to his men. In our cycle, the races never came together. There was no rallying cry. I envy you. Really? Huh. There's not much left out there. 
The future is still out there. It is something my people could never say. There will be a tomorrow. Only if we win today. No one else has ever made it this far. You came a long way, Javik. Further than anyone else here. And I look forward to fulfilling my mission. But you are now the avatar of this cycle. The exemplar of victory. Not just for humanity, or Turians, or Protheans, but for all life. Every soul that has ever existed is watching this moment. Well, no pressure when you put it that way. I was just thinking that. Do not waver. Victory is never won without difficult choices. It's like the entire time we were saying that to the whole galaxy, and I was just like, yeah, no pressure. No pressure. Just... Although, that's... That's a cool title. Exemplar. Victory. I know. I've had to make a lot of those. Yep. There may be more. But I know you will see this through for all of us. No matter the cost. Damn straight. Okay, that if one I almost missed. actually this off, what will you do afterwards? Since my birth, life's only pursuit has been war. I look forward to seeing what peace looks like. It's a big galaxy. Perhaps I will write a book with the Asar... With Dr. Tessoni. She suggests... Journeys with the Prothean. You do that? I will need a job. There will be no Reapers left to kill. <laughs> Thank True. you, Commander. For letting the last voice of the Prothean speak. It has been a privilege. I kind of left him hanging there on that handshake a little bit too long, but... That's because I didn't have my hand on the mouse. That's it. I'm keeping my hand on the mouse throughout this entire thing. I don't want to miss any. Damn, look at those Krogan's Rex. Shepard, you did it. Aww. No matter what else happens today, you did what no one else could. You united a galaxy. That's a victory right there. And don't worry. I know why you're going to win. Because you brought the Krogan. Now let's go kick some ass, Shepard. Well, if nothing else, you're pretty damn modest, Rex. Suck it up, princesses! Oh my god. Hey. I meant to tell you, Shepard. Earth reminds me of home. Guess you'll be needing a new planet, too. That's okay. Duchanka's got room to spare. And a guard dog named Kalros. Ah, Kalros. We're ready, Shepard. Say the word. What what if what if I'm not ready? Somebody go see if the quarians have anything to eat. All that Turian food gave me the runs. Can I? We better score the Genovese, Don Rock. But if you don't step to it, you're not having any kids! Uh, yeah. This isn't Solarian boot camp. I want to be prepped and ready in five. Get to it! Hey. Are you done spouting? Suck it up, princesses! Yeah, pretty much. It's like, hey, uh, you done talking? Yep. What about this, though? We could circle around and flood it with reinforcements. I spent three days in that sector, trapped inside Big Ben, sniping anything that moved. It's a bloody death trap. Name me one place in this city that isn't. Yeah, name him one place. You have one job. Our Thanix missiles pack a punch, but that's against conventional targets. A Reaper is a whole other matter. We have to make do with what we've got, Major. Get their crews prepped and moving. Yes, sir. Hi, Edie. Shepard, I have a question. Is it a big or small one? It is important. Its relevance would be diminished at any other time. Ask away. In this battle, the Reapers have no reason not to use their full capabilities to destroy us. Their forces are in entrenched positions. They have superior firepower and outnumber our forces. My question is, what makes you think we can reach the Conduit at all? Um, because they don't realize our full potential? The Reapers have the Citadel. They think they've won and that's the best time to hit them. If they have spies or other intelligence, we could lose the element of surprise. In such a case, we will likely lose. Are you afraid? 
Our probability for success is greater than any other plan presented to date. That's not what I asked. Are you afraid? I do not understand the purpose of the question. There's no room for doubt anymore, Edie. You understand what we have to do or you don't. I am clear on what we must accomplish, Shepard. The Reapers have destroyed thousands of civilizations. But they have never destroyed ours. Nor will they. Damn Skippy, Edie. Couldn't have put it better myself. Time to move out. Shepard, there is something I want you to know. What's that? The elusive man ordered my creation years ago. Jeff was the one who allowed me to think for myself. But only now do I feel alive. That is your influence. Thanks, Edie. Aww. That was so sweet of her to say. That was like really nice. Okay, I'm gonna talk to Tally and then I'm gonna cut the video off before talking to Anderson. I keep stealing that stuff, but it's not like giving me anything. Almost time for the final push. Are you okay? No. I thought I'd be asking you that question. Shepard, I backed you when I was just a kid on her pilgrimage. I backed you when the Normandy was a Cerberus ship. What kind of friend would I be if I didn't back you now? And you haven't answered my question. Are you okay? Totally. I'm totally fine. Not at all. Caden and Fields and please give me a hug, Tally. I need a Tally brand hug right now. You remember how you felt when you landed on Rannoch? Now imagine it's not a story passed down by your people. Imagine you were there just a few months ago. And now you're seeing it like this. We need to put it right. We will. Whatever happens, I'm proud to have served with you, Captain. I need a tally hug, please. It's been an honor, Tally Zoravas, Normandy. The Admirals once hung that ship name on me like a badge of shame. And then the Normandy helped us reclaim our homeworld. Damn straight. It's time I returned the favor. Oh, Tally. Hugs. Tally hugs. Okay, I'm done. Um, I'm going to cut the video off here. When we come back, we're going to talk to Anderson. And we're going to get the assaults underway. So thanks everybody for watching. And I'll see you in the next episode.